the reason there is so much interest in who will be the PPP's candidate at the next election is simply because that person will be the next president of Guyana. Sensing the fallout following the CCJ's ruling that he cannot be president of Guyana again, today the opposition leader Barajak Jagdio called a press conference to directly address his worried supporters. I just want to say to our supporters in particular, not the trolls on Facebook, not our parasitic prime minister, not the AFC, none of them, or the APNU people. I want to say to our supporters in Maine and those who have been sympathetic to us. Jack Dio then outlined the process that he says the PPP uses to determine the presidential candidate for the party. The Central Committee of the People's Progressive Party that is made up of 35 persons had intense discussions on this matter and they selected Janet Jagan to be the presidential candidate. But that central committee thought that we needed a different concept, an A-team concept. And so Prime Minister Samuel Hines was selected as the Prime Minister and Barajag Dio, which was part of the A-team that said, should any Janet have to resign? or anything more to happen to her, I'll emerge as president. Jack Dio believes that the interest in the CCJ's ruling and the resulting discussions taking place is because the country knows that the PPP will win the next elections. He said that there is no such excitement in the current coalition government. Rather, they are in fighting. Contrast this with the struggle that is taking place now within APNU. You would recognize that they are fighting. There is a, a major fight going on between Valda Lawrence, Basil Williams, and Harmon. And most people know that what is at stake there is that whoever emerges there would likely be their candidate. But there is no attention. Nobody is paying attention to that process. The PPP's general and secretary so again addressed his supporters. I want to say once again to the to the people, um, to particularly those in the PVP base, that parties often go through this sort of thing, but uh, at the end of the day, we are mature, old political party, we're the oldest political party. However, it looks out there that at the end of the day, we're going to make the right decision and we're going to march towards, towards victory. For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.